All right, so we're back at the plane here. Today, the goal is to get this plane up on some stilts that allow us to move it around real easily. We got some two by fours, and let me show you real quick, these bad boys. At the local hardware store, some really heavy duty caster wheels. Um, so if everything goes right, that plane should be able to move around freely, and if it works good, we'll get the other one on a stand as well. And that's the goal today, so let's get it done. All right, Tyler, so what are we doing here? Alright, we're going to build a stand out of wood 2x4s. We need to hold from here to the ground, and from this one to the ground, and then brace across, and the other side brace across that too. So, we're going to start by measuring. So, just to clarify too, we have it in flight attitude right now. We leveled it off. Yes, that is correct. We raised it, raised the tail to get the height we wanted on the tail make the plane nice and straight just as it would be when it's flying. Yep. So we got 70 inches there. We're going to go to 71 so that we can keep the tire just off the ground. Let's go cut it. Alright, so what was the measurement again? So our measurement was 71 inches. We are going to have one of the bracings 2x4 under it so we're going to subtract an inch and a half. So what does that come out to be? 71 minus an inch and a half. <laughs> That's good math. Turns out to be 69 and a half. So we'll need two of those, one for each side. If you've been enjoying our video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, so next thing we need to do is we need to figure out the notch. Yep, we want to notch around where the wing attach bolt is, because that's what's going to hold the whole thing up. Okay, we're going to make our notch about an inch and three quarters. Okay, and how deep? Let's say... Ooh, inch, inch and, and a half. half. but it doesn't cut anything. <laughs> oh, that beautiful notch. Yep. Okay, quick change plans. We did subtract one inch for our two by four bracing going underneath, but what we didn't think about was we want to add some wheels underneath. So we've got some wheels around here somewhere. This is what we're going to put on the bottom. So now we just need to measure this height and subtract that again. The bottom of this 2 by 4 Alright, so we got the two uprights. We got the bottom support for the U. We're going to get it screwed together. And then we're going to get the caster wheels fit into there. And we'll go test fit it on the plane. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is we need to get these caster wheels fit. Um, it's not the most ideal setup for what um, we're doing, but we're just going to try it. We're going to basically drill a hole through the 2x4 as tight as we can and kind of thread it into the wood. Um, longevity, it's probably not going to hold up that great, but for what we're doing right now, it will get the job done and we don't have the correct hardware. So, Yeah, we didn't have to build a door down the hardware store at the moment. We just drilled this hole put it in there and it's just sitting in there right now. So the setup that we're actually gonna do is countersink a hole down at the top 
and put a big washer and the dirt on there. Uh, it's still not the best setup, but it works good for what we need to do. Okay, so we got the upright done for the back here. It's gonna come down. It won't have wheels, it'll just sit on the floor. That way we can tilt it up, get it on the two wheels and move it. it makes it a little easier to move. Um, it's gonna come up here, come down. We're gonna need a brace that goes from this guy to the back leg and a brace that goes from this back leg to that back leg. Um, so we need to measure here to here. If I can get it to hook on. which is 32 and three quarters. Pulling that. 32 and three quarters. Um, and that will be the distance for the brace that goes from this leg to this leg. All right, so we got most of the stand kind of figured out at this point. This plane, we gotta get a lot higher because higher, obviously it's not on the landing here. Um, so we don't really have a hair figure here right now or anything. So. What we're going to have to do is the old plane, we're going to have to get it off the tires off the back there to where it's a little lower. Steal those tires and slowly get this kind of jacked up to where we can get everything underneath. And uh, yeah, this will be fun. We'll figure it out. Alright, so the first thing we're doing here is we're getting some tires up underneath the front of the fuselage there. We're going to remove the tires out of the back and put a sawhorse with a piece of foam. That way we can use the tires that we pulled from the back to bring them to the front to get it even higher. The idea behind this is to get it high enough to where we can get our cradle that we built up and underneath very easily. The notches you can see at the very top there, those go to the wing attach points. Um, they just kind of rest. Alright, so at this point we're just bracing the back cradle to the front cradle. Alright, so at this point you might notice that it's, it's racking from side to side quite bad, so we did a couple things to help with this. Um, right now we're putting the bracing in on the top portion of it. That helped quite a bit, but it still had like a sway and almost a rack to it. So we did a couple things to compensate for that. So the first thing we did was, as you can see, we put 45 degree braces in at the bottom. That helped a lot with the rack and it stopped that. Um, but the next issue we ran into, and we'll see it in just a second, um, it still sways a little bit. So what we did is we took foam and we screwed it to a 2x4 and kind of wedged it between the plane on both sides. Nagra holds it more firmly in place so that it doesn't try to sway if you're inside working on it. I mean, it's strong where it's at, it's just it kind of has a little bit of sway, so by putting foam in there, it really helps stabilize. perfect yet um, it's a lot more rigid now um, I trust it we got to work on the wheels just a little bit get those bolted in um, but other than that it's pretty much done it's uh, working pretty good actually uh, one person can very easily move it it's up super easy and then you're able to roll it around so pretty sweet little setup for us all right so that's gonna wrap up this video for us today uh, we'll have more videos coming uh, shortly on the project. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out. And we'll see you next time. If you like our videos, hit subscribe on the left. Go watch our 360 cylinder install next on the right side of the screen.